Hi, I'm Jesse Stay from GeekGreens.com. So we've got a uh, right here. We've got a uh, a really cool little uh, thing that the the kids woke me up with this morning. Uh, uh, right here is a praying mantis egg. Uh, we put in this little jar here. Uh, you don't have to put it in a jar. You can put it uh, anywhere in the uh, garden over here uh, and just leave it there. And when it gets warm enough, uh, it'll hatch and all these little baby praying mantises or uh, uh, praying mantids, as some people call them, uh, will uh, uh, will uh, hatch out. And this morning, uh, we were woken to hundreds of praying mantids um, uh, in their jar. The, uh, the kids have been looking around at them all day long. So right now we're going to, uh, right now we're going to, uh, uh, re we're going to release these in the garden. Um, now you want to wait for the for it to be about 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit um, outside. Uh, they, they like warm weather, um, and I'm going to just take a bunch of them and we'll just gradually uh, put them in a few areas of the garden. Hopefully they'll mate and uh, we'll have more adults uh, all throughout our garden uh, uh, as, as we go. So so I'm going to open this up here and uh, I'm going to gradually take this. And these guys have been waiting to get out for quite all morning. So just let the egg go in there because the egg uh, sometimes still have more to hatch. Um, just drop a couple of them in in a couple good areas of the garden. Let's uh, let's take a few more over here, and uh, I want to put some in my raised bed over here as well. So so we'll just spread these out over here. They you see that they'll crawl on your hands and stuff. Don't worry, they don't hurt you. Here, you want to put one on your hand there, Liz? Got it. Yeah, come here, Joseph. Oh, it jumped off. That's fine. <laughs> here, just put your hand right here. It won't hurt. It won't bite. They're not big enough to bite your hand yet. They're not big enough to bite. Just put your hand right here and let them crawl onto it. No praying mantis. Yeah, they'll jump. <laughs> Why do you not go back into the okay, garden? Let's put a, a few more over. Follow me over here. Whoa, Liz. I've got like, they all crawled on my hand. Okay, follow me over here, Liz. I'm trying to Shake get them off. off my hand. Shake them off. Come over here. There we go. <laughs> That's ticklish. Can I try? Okay, let's, let's go over here. A little bit of praying mantis. And actually, they were yellow this morning and they turned green. Yep. They. That's just them starting to grow up already. Yep. This is when we lived for so long. We have to grow fast. Faster than yeah, humans. Let's just put it like that and they'll, they'll crawl out. So we'll leave it like that. Uh, and and uh, praying mantises are really great predators. Uh, you don't have to use pesticides um, uh, if, if ideally you have enough uh, praying mantises in your garden. Uh, they'll they'll eat. Uh, great thing about them is is they eat spiders as well. So uh, if you uh, while spiders aren't harmful to your garden, they're actually good for your garden. Uh, they'll eat all the other bugs. Spiders are harmful to humans, at least some varieties. Um, and uh, the great Whereas thing about praying mantises. Not. They are not harmful to humans, and they'll eat the spiders too. So uh, they're great around uh, your garden in, in naturally controlling uh, the uh, um, uh, naturally controlling the uh, um, uh, the pests around your garden. So uh, I'm Jesse Stay from GeekGreens.com.